So 3-1, two more needed, and uh, winners of this game will meet Wales later on today in the final of this Six Nations women's event. The men's event we'll be seeing shortly with the first of those semi-finals. Am I right in saying it's Northern Ireland versus Wales? We look forward to after this game's completed. And, um, of course, the other semi-final features England and the Netherlands. So Fifth line, it's England to throw first. Got some Keep on. cracking games, anyway, to look forward to in the men's competition afterwards. But meantime, hoping to put her side a, a fraction closer to the oh, final. No. Dieter Hedman, a ton to kick her off with. And uh, Susanna oh, McGimsby, we saw her not long ago beating Lorraine Winstanley, oddly enough. Um, She's actually won five of her seven games so far in this tournament. She's had a good tournament, hasn't she, the Glaswegian? Yeah, she 76. Has, and I think it's fair to say she caught Lorraine on a bit of an off leg. Susanna didn't play particularly well herself. But yeah, she's been 41. very solid for Scotland. Very consistent. Dieter's also played seven legs during the course of the weekend and she's won six of them. I seem to remember the one she lost. She flew pretty well, but... Whoa. And there's a wonderful maximum from Dieter Hedman. England really playing well in this match, really putting it together. Putting her on one, four, five. Good response from McGimps people. I think, in fairness, that lead of 130 plus the darts... Oh, gives uh, Dieter go. Edmund a definite chance. Oh, look at this, folks. Look at this for a fantastic dart from Dieter Edmund. A brilliant, brilliant 12 darter from her to follow a 12 darter from Lorraine Win Stanley. A 180 followed by a 145 checkout. It doesn't get better than that, folks. This is absolutely brilliant from these English players. Quite remarkable darts and uh, celebrations all round and smiles. Well, they both hit 12 darters, those two hugging each other.